Take a look, folks, right now at 530. This is home movie recordings of the 1942 Veterans Day Parade on Broadway in downtown Louisville. That was a key year. World War II was still underway. Billboards, look at that right now, saying Stop Hitler Now. This sign posted at 4th and Broadway by the Brown Hotel pointing to the air raid shelter as people lived in fear of what would happen next. But huge crowds turned out for the parade. It was a tradition for decades that drew big crowds to support America's effort in the war. But the Louisville parade all went away until 2011. In 2011, then Mayor Greg Fisher restored the Veterans Parade and brought it back downtown to Main Street. Fisher's dad, George, who died last October, had served our country as a jet pilot and captain in the U.S. Air Force. So the mayor wanted to bring back the honor of the parade for all veterans, which had been such a great celebration here. And I'm happy now to welcome in Wayne Hettinger here in the studio with me. He is the producer of the parade. And if you've ever wondered why Thunder over Louisville is so patriotic, you know him <laughs> as the right. longtime producer of Thunder. Wayne, you're also an Army veteran. So yes. thank you for your service. Well, thank you very much. State. But I'm here to represent all branches uh, regardless. And go ahead. Well, I, I'm, I'm curious. You sat here and watched that 1942 film. Why was it so important to get this parade back to downtown Louisville? Well, actually, uh, Treva Brockman and Del Courtney, you remember her, the three of us worked on different events together for over the years. And we were sitting around talking one afternoon, and it was like, golly, we've got the 11th day and the 11th hour of the 11th year coming up. Whatever happened to the Veterans Day parade? So that's when we went to the mayor so and 20, asked about it. 2011. Because it was originally Armistice Day, which was the end of World War I, November 11 at 11 o'clock. So how have you produced this parade? Take us, what, what will people see tomorrow? And then with this spectacular weather, I'm sure you're expecting yes, us to exactly. Grants. Boy, the weather is always the key to it, Doug, as you well know. Uh, what we did, we had to take a two-year hiatus from downtown because of COVID. Uh, but we were bound to determine that we weren't going to ignore our veterans. We had to do something. Uh, so Mayor Chapman out of Middletown uh, made the property available with Southeastern Christian Church, so we took over their parking lot. So you're now back downtown. Well, as what had happened in that process, uh, we did a serpentine through everybody just on display so people can stay in the safety of their cars and just, it was a reverse parade kind of idea. Uh, but the following year, everybody could get out of their cars and go and meet and, and greet and talk to the veterans. And that was a huge hit. So we thought, if we're bringing it back downtown to Louisville, number one for the parade, we also want to be able to have a meet and greet. So that's what we've got. It's going to parade down. Come, come early. Right. Enjoy meeting the veterans. How many, how many uh, exhibits are you going to have there's in the parade? There's over 80 units itself in the parade. And then there's other displays. Uh, within the static display what are area. We gonna, so, what are we going to see in the parade? Uh, oh, well, a lot of restored military equipment for sure. Uh, you're going to see bands. You're going to see uh, color guards. You're going to see a lot of vehicles. Uh, some of the vehicles, it gets down to even... Uh, we've got one of the veterans driving the city snowplow, uh, and so he's. Everybody in the parade has a relation one way or another to as a veteran. So, do you have a favorite about in this year's parade? Boy, I'd be afraid to say if I did. You know, <laughs> my favorite is is the mass of all of it. So, it starts at 12 noon at 7th Street, goes east on Jefferson to 3rd Street, and then it breaks into a static display, so. And and it's such a great celebration of our veterans. Oh, it really uh, is. You, 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 by the way, if folks may not know, but Wayne started his career here at That's WHAS right. 11 in 1968. I want you to put that earpiece up yeah, to your ear okay. real quick and then watch this. We've got a little surprise for you, Wayne. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> This is a special program today, and I'll tell you why. That is omelet. Now, take a look, folks. See the little chicken there coming out of the egg? Who, who drew that uh, logo there, Wayne? Well, I came up with the, uh, with the logo idea, and uh, we had an animation camera upstairs in the art department, and we were the first anywhere within the region <laughs> so, of having an animation so camera. So that's your work. Yeah, it is. 
You, you know how many kids like me were stuck at home during the snowstorms, and then Omelette came on with that famous music. It was right. a show right before the noon news here right. at WHAS. Milton Metz and Faith Laws. And you created the little the little yeah. logo that popped out of the egg. Yeah, I mean, those those were the fun, great days of live <laughs> television. <laughs> to now the biggest fireworks show <laughs> right. in the world, Wayne Hettinger. Thank you so much Thank and you, everything Doug. you do for, for Kentucky Day. Day. Happy and Veterans Day. I'm urging that if you're a veteran, come down, whether you were overseas or not. The camaraderie is there. Please come down and join in with the Brotherhood. And here's, we want to remember, remind people right now on your screen, four convoys will converge downtown from Southern Indiana, Fern Valley, Dixie Manor, and Middletown at 9 a.m. They're calling it Operation Rendezvous. You could show up early and meet the veterans. Then the traditional parade, as Wayne said, starts at noon on Jefferson Street, going to run from 7th, then to the east to 2nd Street. And then after that, there's going to be a static display from the, for the parade from 1 to 3 for you to enjoy. All right.